Hi y'all, she was seven, I'm back. So I had a video request to do a video about how to appear mysterious and attractive to a man, like if you're going out, how to lure them in with your mystery and keep them guessing and keep them wanting to know more and keep them wanting to be interested in you. How do you do that? Okay, first of all, a lot of women have a problem with talking too much, okay? Y'all know women love to talk. When you first meet a guy or when a guy first approaches you, you don't talk. You don't talk all like you would talk to your girlfriend. You remain quiet. You let them do all the talking, okay? This is how you get all the information without asking too many questions. Because the less you talk, the more they're going to give away. And you'll be able to gather that knowledge. And plus, at the same time, you seem mysterious and like you listen, you know? So, never answer their question, okay? This is first thing. Unless it's a simple thing like, what's your name? Or, you know, don't tell them your whole name, okay? Just tell them your first name or your nickname, okay? Um, never tell a man your age. Mm -mm. A woman that tells a man her age, unless he's worried about you being under 18, yes, okay? So, oh, don't worry about it. I'm over 21. I can drink. I'm supposed to be in here, okay? Um, never tell a man your age. Not on the not the first meeting, okay? He needs to earn that, okay? Never tell him your life story, okay? When when a man says, "Tell me about yourself," he doesn't mean tell you his life your life story. He means, and now it's your turn to talk. Please don't bore me to death with your life story, okay? He knows that you're probably going to hit on your career, what you do for a living, how many kids you got, so. Don't do that. Don't feed don't feed what he's expecting. Okay? Say, oh, tell you about me. There's so much to know. I don't I don't think uh, I don't think you're ready for all of this. I don't think you're ready for, you know, keep him intrigued. And he'll be like, oh really? What does that mean? What do you do? Now he'll be even more intrigued because you're not answering. Okay. And you know, I this is what I used to do when I was single. I used to play with people's heads because I, I enjoyed the game, okay? Like, I'm going to be, I'm in the game. I might as well enjoy it. I would say, you know, because when you first meet a man, you don't want to say, hey, yeah, I, I embalm dead bodies all day. Hey, yeah. Kiss, kiss. You don't, you know, you can't tell people what you do, like, right off the bat, especially when you're a mortician. So I learned some good tricks to get around that subject until later. <laughs> So they were like, so what do you do for a living? Oh, I work with families and I do lots of things. You know, uh, I, I work with a lot of people in the community. And that sounds like, you know, something else. But it doesn't sound like you bury people in the community. but <laughs> Or embalm people in the community. But, you know. and Or I'll say, oh, you know, I work for the community. I'm a, I, you know, I, I do lots of things. I just can't put my, I, I do lots of things. But I enjoy my work. You know, I don't want to talk about work. I'm here trying to have fun. What do you do? <laughs> you know, you avoid the qu you avoid answering questions straight off because if they know too much and they get bored, they're going to move on quick. If you leave mystery and questions in their mind, they're going to want to call you if they do exchange numbers with you and they are going to want to ask you more questions. Therefore, stay with you. They're talking longer. Okay, so don't give it up too easy. So, okay, so a lot of guys will ask you if you have kids. And do you have kids? If this is like one of the first one or two questions that they answer, that they ask you, this is them trying to weed you out. So this is how you handle that. Well, I, I always wanted, don't tell them you got kids. Just say, oh, you know, I always wanted three kids. That doesn't mean you don't have them. And it also could mean that you want kids for the future. Like if you only have one kid and you don't want to say, yeah, I have one kid. You can say, you know, I've always wanted three kids. They'll say, oh, and then they'll forget about the, the question they asked you, you know, and they'll think it means no, but really you're not answering the question, you know. So you're always avoiding, avoid questions, avoid questions, avoid answering as many questions as you can. Give them the political answer, okay? Uh, why? Because it draws them in closer to know more. They're interested in you now. You have piqued interest because you can't answer any of their questions. So then they'll ask you, okay, well, you know, um, you know, what are you doing out this evening by yourself? They always ask that. What are you doing here by yourself? 
there's a proper way to answer this question. Don't say I'm waiting on somebody if you're not waiting on anybody. Don't say I'm trying to relax because they're going to think you were in the club or the bar every night trying to relax. Say, oh, you know, I decided to come out after work if you're if you're at a happy hour and get a drink before I head home. I didn't want to sit in traffic. Or if you're out late at night, oh, you know, I just decided to step out. I was at home and I just say, you know what, life is too short. Make it interesting. Don't come up with the same thing every woman's going to tell them. Make your story interesting, okay? So, never answer their questions. Always shh, 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 shh. Um, Also, the way you dress, the way you look. If you're dressed like everybody else in the room, you don't stand out at all. And everybody has the same hairdo, makeup, accessories, and clothing that you do, you're not going to stand out unless you're either tall or like exceptionally attractive or uh, exceptionally just different looking. So you want to pick an outfit that is not like everyone else who's going there. So for example, if you are going to like a club and everybody's in those skin tight bodycon dresses, heels and such, you want to go there looking like totally opposite, not like not not ugly and casual and you know not dressed up and sexy and stuff but you want to go in there sophisticated you want to go in there sophisticated like you are like a CEO you don't want to go in there looking like the rest of them girls you want to look I would say like all black tight cover up everything though cover up if you're in a club where everybody's showing everything and you go in there looking like a boss lady and you're all covered up I would say like a tight ribbed mock shirt that's tucked in, maybe some black pants or black jeans or a black skirt, boots, everything covered, beautiful accessories, hair done, makeup not too crazy, but like natural, but, but uh, very pretty, nails done. Everyone else is looking like, you know, um, you know, a club, a club person and you're sitting here looking like somebody like somebody that somebody that you want um, on your team you're looking like sophistication among these other women who are just begging for attention with you know their body parts so even though you got those body parts too if you're going to a club you need to stand out you don't need to blend in so and when you blend in it's you know they like looking at naked women. They like looking at body parts. That's fine. If they want that one girl for the night, that's what they're going to go for. But if they're looking for someone for a deeper conversation or a deeper relationship, they'll say, oh my God, that's wifey. They'll say, oh, that's wifey right there. She's not showing everything. She has a nice, you know, she has a nice outfit on. She's well put together. I can tell she takes care of herself. You know, that's wifey. I'm going to go talk to her, you know, and you will get the attention. You have to every any place you go, you have to look different than the other women there. This is how you stand out. This is how you allure people in. And this is why they're going to be wondering, why are you here in all in your nice clothes? Why aren't you showing boobs? What's what's so special about you? What's different about you? Uh, you know, they're going to be wondering all these things in their mind. Um. If you are in like at work, a lot of people love like love dating guys at work. So if that's y'all, if you want to get the attention of a man at work, look like you belong by his side. Okay. If you if you if you if you want your boss, dress like a woman boss. Don't dress like an employee. I mean, if you can't, like if you just got a uniform, you know, act like. You know, look like from the neck up a boss lady, like you're wearing the wrong outfit. You need to promote me or something like that. But if y'all just wear regular clothes, dress like you're supposed to be by his side. Dress like a boss's wife. Dress like a sophisticated lady who deserves to be next to a man who is, you know, on top. Okay, you don't dress like the rest of the employees who just dragging into work doing their job and leaving you dress like you're supposed to be on the top with him and he's going to notice that 
and you're going to stand out among all the employees. And he's going to be like, dang, she would look good on my arm. You know, he's not going to see you as less than because you look and people might even approach you thinking you are the boss over him because you are so well put together. And when they, when they start doing that, he's going to start seeing your power and your allure. And he's going to be like, dang, yes, you know, so always try to look different stand out do the opposite of what's being done don't answer questions you know uh, the best way you can get out of answering them don't do it it keeps them interested longer okay because if they really wanted to know they're going to ask you again later on down the line you know the guys really don't want to know the answers of all that stuff at first they're just making small talk to make it seem like they're not rushing to try to get in your pants so you have to take that advantage and not answer their questions okay and this is going to intrigue them more and pull them in more they're going to be like dang she's not giving up nothing i'm gonna have to work on i'm gonna have to work on her you know she's she's a challenge and i like that most women just blurt out their whole life story and i'm bored in five minutes i'm on to the next you know so keep it a mystery never let them know what's going on you know never let your left hand know what your right hand is doing if you want to keep the advantage okay ladies all right thank y'all so much for watching if y'all have any more video requests on topics put them in the comments and or write me to my email and i will put that in the link below please keep them simple uh, make sure i haven't already done it recently or cover any topics that you might put down there recently because I don't want to be like repeating myself also um if y'all like this makeup look y'all go check out my beauty channel I will also link that video below on this tutorial and this is like a quick 10 minute hurry up and get out the house makeup tutorial or you know everyday go to work tutorial so y'all check that out and I'll see you guys later